Yo, what is happening, guys? On the Spirit Plugs, and today we're back with another On the Spirit podcast. And as always, I'm back with Shay. Hi, what's up? Um, yeah. <laughs> Did anything at the rest happen in your week? <laughs> uh, yes. I I got Monday and Tuesday off of work. Yeet. Oh, yeah, you got your wisdom tooth taken out? I did. That was the worst part of the time off. Did you get... You seemed normal when you were texting me. Did they mm. put you under, like... Uh, I can't remember what you call it. The thing that makes you really high. Right. This is the weird thing, right? I thought it was going to be like that, but it actually wasn't. So, what okay. she said to me... She gave me the thing, and she was like, right... It's it's just it's like this tube, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna explain it and I'm gonna use directions on my face, of course you'll see it in the video whenever you added it. But okay. it was uh I used this the the put this tube around me and it had this wee like nozzle on it for okay. the not like a nozzle, but it had this wee cover that would go specifically around my nose. Mm -hmm. So it's it's not the type of thing that you see in like like hospital or hospital programs where the wee tube goes up their nose, it yeah. actually fit around my nose. Okay. Um, and I was able to breathe it in, so it was. Um, but she, she, it was weird, like because she told me this is what pregnant women use whenever uh, they're obviously having the kids. You, you know, whenever you see like one born every minute programs and they're breathing <laughs> it in through their mouth. I mean, no, because so, I never watched it. But yes, I know what you oh, mean. Fun. It's it's there's a lot of screaming. It's class. <laughs> um, but the fucking uh, ah, it hurts to smile. God damn it. No, they uh, basically she says to me. You see it all the time with uh, women use it whenever they're pregnant. I'm like, right, 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 okay. And then the weirdest part she told me was, but you need to breathe it in through your nose because if you breathe it in through your mouth, it doesn't work effectively. So okay. it, it it works better breathing through your nose. And I'm just sitting there like, well, then why the fuck do they tell women to breathe it in through their mouth? You know what I mean? Like they're having yeah. a kid, they're pushing something out of them, and that's like the most extreme pain ever or something. You know they always say. So why do they not breathe it in through their nose? They you said. Apparently, it feels like you're being burnt alive. What, apparently. pregnancy? Yeah, apparently. It, it mm -hmm. I guess it depends how big the baby is, I guess. But apparently, mm. it can be compared, the burning pain can be compared to being burnt alive. Um, I'm not Jeez. going to say that's not true because I'll never be able to experience it, thank God. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> it's, 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 now, it's very but... painful and I'm glad I don't have to go for it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. Too. I'll not. I will not stand here and be like, "Oh yeah, no, it doesn't hurt," because I wouldn't like to for it. So no. <laughs> if, if you've given birth, good on you. Yeah. <laughs> good job. I'm like, I'm, it's like it's like I know what pain feels like because I have been kicked in my sack and that really yeah, hurts. But that, that it's, fucking hurts. Yeah, and I, I I would say though that. Like, women have babies all the time, right? And you're, it's gonna, just like, you're gonna go into this whole thing about being kicked in the balls. No one asks you to get kicked in the balls again. Yes, exactly. Uh, that's, that's not, not a good say. point. That's not a good point. It's not a good point at all. Because I remember somebody literally balls. said yeah. that to me, and I was like, that is the stupidest point I've ever heard. <laughs> I've used <laughs> it as a joke. I've never used it seriously. I remember mean, somebody actually said it to me, and he meant that. And he goes, oh, you don't hear guys say, oh, kick me in the balls again. I goes, that's the stupidest point. Because someone kicking you in the balls, you don't get anything out of it. When a woman yeah. gives birth, she gets a child out of it that she wanted. So that is the stupidest point I've ever fucking heard. I'm not <laughs> saying that it doesn't hurt. It hurts. Trust me, I've been kicked and I've been lying on the ground screaming in pain. But I, I wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't ask for it to be done again. But that's just not a good comparison. Because it's like... <laughs> it's not comparison because yeah. one of them you get something and the other thing you're just paying so it's exactly. like I remember you know, somebody you... actually used that as a valid argument towards me I just looked at it I'm like I'm sorry but the, if that was your argument we're not having this conversation <laughs> yeah oh no it's fucked like, see um, oh. see the weirdest thing right she put this little uh, thing into my mouth and it was like weird like cylindrical it was really tiny like it looked like a tic tac but it was like a wee cotton bud okay um, so she stuck that into my mouth and it, it sort of numbed that area but also my tongue was against it so it numbed my fucking is tongue that, as well wait, is that the because I whenever I got my tube taken out mm. um, she got like a wee bit of thing and like she rubbed something on it that she rubbed around your mouth to make it numb are you talking about that or are you talking about the wee it's like a wee white roll that they stick between your tooth and the gum or something to make your face sit out more so they have more room what are you talking about 
No, it was no, it was actually it was a wee white thing, and you know, like a Q-tip they used to clean out your ears. Yeah, it was. It, it looked like the wee butt of that, like the wee white butt of that. But she just she just stuck it uh, here. Oh, I'll explain it here by using my thing. Uh, she she stuck it here, uh, in there, and it was it's between my 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 lip and my teeth. So it was between oh, yeah. there so it's up. and basically, it, yeah, so it, it just numbed all of that. And then obviously it was breathing in, but it wasn't, <clears throat> the, see the breathing in part of the, the actual gas wasn't really affecting me. And I was like, I don't feel anything here, you know, like I don't feel different. And, and the next goes, second I'm high on fucking. <laughs> I mean, that was more of it that was funny as shit because uh, she said to me, because I didn't realize I was meant to take really deep breaths in. I was just breathing fucking normally. So I was taking deep breaths in, and she goes, how do you feel? And I was like, yeah, I'm all right. And then as soon as she said, well, that's okay, that's good, I started to, I, I felt like laughing. So I did, and like, it was going to be uncontrollable. And I was like, no, just calm your shit. Don't laugh, don't <laughs> laugh, don't laugh, don't laugh, don't laugh. So I didn't laugh, thankfully. And then she goes, right, you're, you're, you're going to feel a wee nick here. And I'm like, right, okay. And then basically... I saw it, and it was this big, huge needle fucking thing. I yeah. just shoved it right from here, just going right in into my gums. And, uh, oh, man, it was mental. Yeah. I think she did that about twice. And then the next yeah. thing that she said was uh, whenever you, it's about force and resisting the force. And I'm like, right. <laughs> so oh. Jedi mind <laughs> shit. <laughs> you, were, you were there, just like, I'm listening. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Jedi Star Wars, nice. No, but... Uh, she says it's about resisting the force, and I'm like, right. So she goes, whenever I push on you, resist it. I was like, right, okay. I don't really know what you mean, but fine. Um, and then I, I understood what she meant because she it was like she put her hand, full palm, on the bottom of my jaw, and I was leaning up like this. So she put it right in the bottom of my jaw, and then uh, she was oh, pushing okay. my jaw down, so she was. And yeah. I was like, oh my God, you're going to break my fucking mouth there, woman. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you went like that. I was like, oh, man. What are you doing? Yeah, exactly. All of a like, sudden. Sucking my shit. All of a sudden, you hear. <laughs> she she, and then, she kills you no, in the she, chair. We've got another she one. Fucking, and so she did that, and I was like, right, fuck you. I'm going to resist your motherfucking force right now, bitch. So I resisted that shit like a boss, and uh, yeah, it was great. And then she goes, right, you're going to feel a wee crack here. And I'm like, a wee crack. Oh, my God, it's not my joy, is it? And then, but I felt the wee crack, or I didn't feel the crack, I heard the crack. And I, so I don't know what she did, but she must have just broke my tooth in half and yeah. then took out the two halves. But then, see, after that, see, after literally her putting that injection in, me hearing the crack, it was dumb. And yeah. it was nothing. I'm like, why do people get put to sleep for this? Because you pay in that place. What's. Fuck's sake. Uh, Sorry. Well, to be fair, a lot of people are terrible with pain for a start. <laughs> And yeah, a lot of people are terrible with blood. See, mine, see, you're lucky. <laughs> Do you know the way, you're very lucky. Do you know the way you just yeah. had yours uh, taken out and cracked? Yeah. Yeah, I told you. I was in that chair for about a good 20 minutes and she was putting oh, yeah. on it. My tooth would not fucking come out. She literally said to me, are you a stubborn person? I said, yeah. And she goes, well, your tooth's very stubborn because it's refusing to come out. <laughs> and, I, and she literally said, she literally turned around to me and goes, can you feel this? And she wobbled the tooth and I was like, Hurts a bit because like she went on my mouth. I goes hurts a bit, but not that much. She goes right. I'm gonna have to put it really hard here. She goes. She literally said to me at start. She goes if it gets to the point where it's too painful and you want me to stop, let me know and we'll give it a break Silly. and then we'll go back. Uh-huh. She went for it and it took. I was in that chair for about like 25, 30 minutes of her Fuck. like fucking. Do- and she was no. All you could hear was <laughs> she was wobbling the tooth and I mm. shit you not. She. See when I say ten minutes, I mean every single second she was wobbling that tooth. Like there oh was no God. break. And whenever it ended, she literally turned around and goes on to... What was it? She turned around and said to me that every single person she's done it to before has wanted her to stop. This had no, like, a really, like, in, like, tooth where it's been taken ages. She goes, everybody's asked. She goes, why did you not ask? I goes, I literally just said to her. I goes, well, to be fair, I didn't feel the full pain of it because <laughs> I was numb. <laughs> I was like, it hurt. But at the same time, I just said to her, I was like, it hurt. But I knew that even if I got you to stop, well, then the pain would start back up again. So I might as well just firm it and get it over and over. <laughs> so I was sitting there and it hurt like, 
But I didn't even, uh, like, jitter or move because I was kind of like, this hurts, but you know what? It could be worse, and I'm going to look at the positive side because imagine if I didn't get my mouth numb. I was like, I'm going to look at the positive side here, and I'm just going to affirm it. So whenever it was over, it hurt like a motherfucker, but affirmed it because I'm like, nah, I know, bitch. Yeah. And now I'm going to cry. No, it hurt. Like, I had to ice it down and shit. Whenever I got home, like, it was just a throbbing pain. And I literally had to yeah. ice it down. Even though it was numb, you could still feel the throbbing and it hurt. And I had to literally ice it down. And I remember, like, even at night and all, I could, I struggled to get to sleep so much because it just got throbbing. It was so sore. <laughs> Dumb. See, I, I have not had that experience. My, my weird, like, the one weird thing that she did, and I've told you this, but I'll tell your audience. The, yeah. the one weird thing that she did to me, right? And I'm not going to show it because it looks weird. But it's like, because it's like right at the back of my mouth, uh, she was stitching it up. And she says, right, so the stitching is going to last about two weeks and then it's going to dissolve. And I'm like, all right, sweet, sweet, sweet. Mm -hmm. This is the part that hurts the most. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, the tooth, it's grand. You know, I can have a wee bit of pain in my tooth right now. But that's because I'm smiling so much and laughing. I haven't smiled or laughed in a couple of days. So, you know, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my life's fun. <laughs> but, uh, fucking... She stitched, like, right, it's weird. She stitched my fucking, uh, so, see my cheek? She stitched the middle of my cheek. Like, she kind of nicked it and then stitched some of that to the back of my mouth. Where, yeah. Covering the whole, uh, covering the, the, the area where my tooth was and everything. And that's just so it doesn't get infected and it's covered, basically. But I'm just like, does that go back to normal? Or since that's stitched on that shit, does that stay there? You know, because I have no fucking idea. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it's that is the only part that feels weird. And I'll explain this feeling to you because you probably know or you don't. I don't know. But it's like, see, whenever you eat food and yeah. you have food stuck at the bottom of your of your gums and you have to get your finger in or to take yeah. it out or you're near people and you have to use your tongue and you don't want to seem weird. You yeah. know, it's constantly down here. It feels like that. So I'm constantly, I had to just remind myself that there's no food there, but it constantly feeds like that. So it does. Yeah. Um, so I'm constantly putting my tongue here to try to get the food out, and there's no food. And I'm kind of, I, I can feel a wee nick like, but that's just the flap of the skin from the, the fucking uh, uh, cheek that they used. I'm trying to think of the word of the cheek that they used. So that's 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 what that is. But it's it. it because it's so close together and in my mouth and it's so tight it just feels like there's food trapped there and I can't get the food you yeah. know what I mean it's very annoying so it is but now the whenever the, the I could feel the pain of the cheek whenever it was done and it was fine and then I think about four hours the whole the, the numbing lasted see whenever that numbing stopped man that hit me like a shit ton of fucking bricks yeah. Like, that hit me so bad. It was unbelievable. <laughs> so it was. And took some paracetamol. And then it started to work about an hour later. And then after that, it was fine. I was taking paracetamol the whole next day. And then after that, I've barely taken paracetamol. Because the only pain that I feel is my cheek. And I realise it's my cheek now. And it's not my gums or my tooth. So I don't really see the need. And, you know, it's, it's only the cheek. So I don't really see the need in numbing the pain or getting rid of the pain or anything. Yeah. So, you know, it's weird. But yeah, that was uh -huh. my exciting week. <laughs> so, how was yours? Um, same as always, was <laughs> Just recording? <laughs> yeah, um, I did have a thing where I almost missed. You know why I've been uploading every single day on my gamer channel? I did have yes. a thing where I almost missed it. Uh, right. Which was Sunday. Because I was editing the first episode of my Apex Ranked series. And it had a lot of, like, problems, like... It was just everything was going wrong. The laptop was freezing. The videos kept corrupting. So I kept having to retransfer them over. And then the really? file wasn't saving. So I had to edit the same bit three times. And like it's not just gamer footage. Like I was editing like sequences and shit. So it was really fucking annoying. And I uploaded it at 20 to 12 on Sunday. So I just got it in 20 minutes before. Um, oh jeez. <laughs> and then you know even after that. Because fuck me right. Everything went wrong. And... It turned out that a few people messaged me and goes, oh yeah, by the way, it buffers and it just freezes after like the first minute. So I was oh. like, what? 
And by the way, see before I upload any video, I quickly skip through it and make sure that it doesn't. So if it doesn't, if it's lagging on YouTube, if it's up there, it never lagged on my laptop. So that's YouTube's fault, not mine, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I found this out Monday, I woke up to this Monday, and I was like, great. So I had to take the video down, and I had to upload Jeez. it, re-upload it again. But I was uploading a GTA video on Monday. So I uh. uploaded the ranked video again, and I uploaded the GTA video. So technically, mm. there is no video for Sunday, but I'm counting it as mm. I cap my streak because I did upload it. And yeah. the fact that it buffered on YouTube, that's not my fault. That's YouTube's fault because YouTube is so fucking broken. That's not my fault. I can't control that. I was out of my hands. And the same thing happened literally yesterday. I uploaded a Rocket League video. It fucking froze after a few minutes and then like the audio kept cutting out. I checked mm -hmm. over it again on my PlayStation. Completely mm. fine. Checked in Share Factory, completely fine. So I had to re-upload that at like 5 a.m. So I did. And then I'll upload the video that I'm planning uh, to upload now. Which obviously these guys are already see it because this podcast will be going up tomorrow because we're recording it day early. Nah. But um, so that's twice in the past week that I've had to take down a video. So technically there was two days missing um, mm. off the like every day. But I did upload on that day. So I'm still counting it as I haven't missed yeah. a day. Because... It's like, it, I can't personally control if it's out of my hands. And it's like, if I do everything I can and somebody else fucks it, why should I be held accountable? So I'm kind of just like, I mm -hmm. I view it as my streak hasn't been broken. Because I uploaded, I stay consistent. I got it up on that day, even with even if I near run out of time. The point is, I got it up. And then yeah. I got screwed over. So it's also like this as well. I think it was fair. Because Monday, I could have just uploaded the Apex Ranked video and said, Oh, um... You, did, you didn't get to watch this video yesterday and I uploaded it today, so that's your video for today. So then there would have been one video mm. less, but I didn't. I uploaded it, to re-uploaded uh, re it, and I uploaded GTA's one because I'm like, here's Sunday's video and here's GTA's one, so I did a double upload. Then, yeah. uh, today, technically, I re-uploaded Rocket League and I'm going to upload that, so they'll have their video for yesterday on today. So it's not like I'm slacking off. I'm doing the re-upload, but I'm also posting the video that's supposed to be, so you're still getting the same videos. I'm not trying yeah, to, like, man. use it as an excuse. So I view it as I didn't break the thing. I don't know how other people view it, but at the end of the day, it's my goal, and I view it as I didn't break it because I did upload. You know what I mean? Because it's yeah, like, no, view it like this. Fair, like... It's the best one I can say. Say, for example, I had a goal on my vlog channel where I wanted to upload 365 days in a row, right, an entire year. Uh. So say I did that from now until next year. What date is it? This is the 5th right now. Say I did it from the 5th of March now to the 5th of March 2022, and then say in 2025... One of those videos got taken down because of copyright claim, right? Yeah. Does that mean that my goal gets undone? No. no? Because I still did it. <laughs> you know, if YouTube takes right, it down, so. fair enough, but I still did it. So that's that's just the way I view it. But yeah, no, it was pissing me off. Because <laughs> it's, it's inconsistent and it's out of my control, which annoys me. Because at least if I was yeah. at fault, I could fix it. But I can't fix it because if I upload a video on YouTube and it buffers... And it's fine when it renders, and I checked it on the laptop or PlayStation, and it's fine. Well, then it's YouTube's fault, and I I can't fix YouTube. Yeah, no, <laughs> no one can fix like... YouTube because it's so broken. <laughs> it is. Oh. Um, and then no, yeah, that's, quick, that's fair. and then quickly before we're fucking like go on to a break, or whatever point. I want to I want to mm. say this to you. Remember we talked about? I think it was like early last year. Everybody was getting cancelled. Yes. I don't know why this seems to be like a thing around March or whatever, but people, everybody's getting the cancelled again. Yay! <laughs> Sick. I, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Um, oh, man. I can't remember. It was in lockdown like last year or something. So like everybody was just like, getting cancelled. Um, mm. And now James Charles is in big trouble again. Um, I can't? Fuck me. Yeah. So, Sick. I don't know here, right? So he's in trouble because he was caught messaging minors again. Right. Oh wow. Um, <laughs> this is the second time this has happened publicly that we know of, but it's the second time it's happened. Um, I got this off drum roller. Keemstar said it doesn't matter if the kid lied about his age. James should. James still committed a crime. What is your thoughts on that? Um, well, the kid lied about his age. He still committed the like. Yeah, James still no, there's, committed there's, the crime. There's Just no mean. proof that the kid lied about his age, but Keemstar said oh. even if he did, you should still be held accountable. What is your thoughts on it? Um, oh fuck! See, that's that's different. Well, it's not it's not different. It's not different because if you take it in the place of right, say you do anything with a minor, but they lie about their age, 
you still shouldn't have done that thing with the minor, but <coughs> you didn't know about their age. So yeah. technically you should still be held accountable, but the minor as well should be held somewhat accountable for that as well because they lied about their age to get that. If if you get me, they, they lied yeah, about no, their I age to get somewhere. And even even if it was a minor that lied about their age to uh to this person who in in a situation like say a minor lied about their age to try to get that person in jail then that's just completely fucked up if you get me because then yeah. you know it's 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 a touchy subject that I think <clears throat> but in that sort of situation where someone lies about their age they both should be held accountable in my opinion because yeah, no, I they, agree. St- they lied about their age and the person was still ta- texting and talking to the minor and doing whatever with a minor so you know, it's it's a really touchy subject that. No, um, no, because so. Keemstar said it, and I agree. I agree with Keemstar, mm. and this is not very often <laughs> that I agree with Keemstar. <laughs> um, but Keemstar said that the first time we could let it slide because he lied about his age. That's fair enough. We let it slide. Um, mm. it, it doesn't mean that you're in the right. <laughs> yeah. So don't get that in your head. But it means we could let it slide because it was a mistake and it was wasn't your fault in a way. But the second time, you've had it done before and you clearly haven't learned to be more careful. So now you need to be held accountable. And I agree. Because yeah. I'm like, if you make a mistake once, <clears throat> I'm not saying that if you make a mistake, you shouldn't be held accountable. You should be held accountable the first time. But if you make a mistake and somebody gives you a second chance, like for example, if that was a random person who was messaging a minor, they'd be in jail. James got a mm. second chance because he's, no, James got a second chance because he's not in jail. That's his second chance is the fact that you didn't get thrown in jail. Now you've yeah. done it a second time. If that was a normal person who wasn't famous, wasn't well known, they would yeah, have had maybe. their sentence extended. And if it was their second chance, they'd be thrown in jail. So it's kind of, yeah. it gets to this point. It's like, it gets to this point. It's like, how is he going to be held accountable? Because if this was a regular person without millions of followers, they would go to jail. And just mm-hmm. because you have millions of followers doesn't mean you should be treated better. So it's kind of like, like I don't want to attack James Charles. I don't have a problem with him. But mm-hmm. what I will say is he's being very stupid about it. And that's not even mm-hmm. an insult. That's just the truth. Because you're being very fucking stupid about the way you go. You you should know. Like He's been famous for what? Like three, four years? You should know at this point that everything you do can be taken out of proportion. Or everything mm-hmm. you do can be manipulated. Or you can even be manipulated. And he, he clearly has not got his head around that. And that's kind of his own fault. Because he hasn't put effort into learning it. Um, exactly. I agree that the minor should be held accountable. It's like if somebody lies about something. Like say that somebody lies and creates a... I'm not going to like name different crimes. But say somebody creates an allegation against somebody. Um, mm-hmm. And lies about it. If it turns out that person is innocent. I think the person who lied about the allegation. Should get the same amount of time as that person would have. If they were proven guilty. Yeah, I think that exactly. is fair. It's like, say, for example, I said, oh, they they stabbed me with a knife, right? Say I said, oh, they attacked me with a knife, and it turned mm-hmm. out it wasn't true. Say they were going to get five years. I think I should get five years for lying about it because I almost ruined five years of their life, so I should get... They, the yeah. court should literally be like, right, well, you almost ruined five years of his life, so now we're going to put you in that position and see how you like it because you deserve it. I think that should be the way. Or at least if they're going to get fined, you should get fined the same. That's the way I view it. So I agree yeah. that the minor should be held accountable, but at the same time, like, like I said, I don't hate James, but fuck me. How can you be so to... stupid? Like, yeah. how can you be just, <laughs> do you not get it through your head, right? <laughs> people, yeah. this has happened to you once, which means people knew that you would fall for it again. Well, at least yeah. they assumed you would fall for it again. And you've proven them right, because you've fallen for it again, right? And the thing is, it's like, you've been in controversy for multiple things. Like, you've been in controversy for messaging and trying to be pressurizing, if that's even a word, or putting pressure onto somebody to try and hook mm. up with you who is not about that. And that's mm. bad enough, because you shouldn't be doing that. Now I had to do with minors, even if you didn't know their age, which is fur. I'm not saying, oh, you're a piece of shit because you, you knew their age. Even if you didn't know their age, you've still done something wrong because you didn't learn from last time. And yes, you can be manipulated, but at the same time, it gets to that point. It's like, 
if you keep getting manipulated by the same thing or tricked by the same thing, you should be held accountable because you haven't went out of your way to learn from your mistakes. Because if you learned exactly. from your mistakes, you would know what to look out for. And yes, you kill, still could be tricked again, but at the same time, the only person that can stop you from being tricked is you, and you didn't stop yourself. I'm not mm -hmm. saying it's easy, but you know what I mean. So yeah. he's in fucking controversy, and he turned his like TikTok comments and all off of his oh. videos because obviously people was going after him, um, mm -hmm. which enough <laughs> because i i can't imagine the messages he was getting considering you know what people are like <clears throat> oh, yeah, that, that's one thing i don't agree with even though james is in the wrong here i don't agree with people going out of their way to message him hate because i've literally yeah. seen somebody done something wrong and people have went out of their way to message them hate and like threaten their life and all and i'm like that's a bit fucking far like yeah, people is. fuck up yeah but see the like see if you go see if you actually like take your time to go on to somebody's like fucking post and you hate on them in my opinion you're sad i don't care who you are you could be one of my best friends if you do something like that, i'm gonna tell you you're sad to your face and the guy's yeah. like if you go and threaten their life now you've crossed the line now you've committed a crime so now you're just as bad. <laughs> so, oh fucking hell! And then David Dobrik, the fucking Flog Squad, is in deep waters because a bunch of people are coming out and saying that he's uh, he's basically a dick off camera and like, there's too much to do with that. I'm not gonna get into it, but I'm just saying like everybody's being cancelled. James Charles is in deep waters. David Dobrik and the Flog Squad are in deep waters. Uh, I can't remember who it is, but somebody else is in deep waters. So everybody's fucked. <laughs> Doctor Seuss <laughs> is getting cancelled. <laughs> I don't know who that is, but everybody's fucked. So, Cat in the Hat, he wrote the Cat in the Hat. Oh, yeah, him. And the Lorax and all that. Yeah. He's literally being cancelled right now, and he's dead. So, you know, he yeah, died so years ago. Cancelled and culture. he's being cancelled. We need, Tom, we need, to, we need you to drop yeah. another song. <laughs> yes, <laughs> drop a song no, um, and make a sick bar about Dr. Seuss, please. No, but yeah, uh, so everybody's being cancelled, and I just thought I'd mention that, because I just find it crazy how... It's just, as soon as one person gets, it's like a domino effect. See, when one yes. person gets cancelled, everybody sees and goes, oh, night cancelling people is becoming trendy again. Well, I mm -hmm. dislike this person, fuck them. <laughs> you just yeah, and then, and then you, you get the people on YouTube that make specific YouTube channels that only talk yep. about that one person being cancelled. They try and, and get off it. Yeah, and they do, but then they, they don't get as much. But they bring more of the story, so they do, and then they just talk about it to death. Like yeah. there'll be people talk, still talking about the Daddy 5 issue from fucking twenty seventeen. You know, what I mean, there was channels dedicated to that shit, and but it was only after Philip DeFranco brought that into light that sh I was watching that channel. Actually, uh, I'd seen that channel before before Philip DeFranco talked about it. You know what I mean? And then now everybody jumped on the train and then there was yeah. people specifically <laughs> talking like Joyce, whatever her name is, Joyce something, fucking whatever. Uh, Joy Sparkles, that's her. She was she talked about that shit to death. So she did and she got so involved. She That was like her life. You know what I mean? And I'm yeah. like, don't make it your fucking life. Talk about it once or twice and then the story's done and that's yeah. it. Yeah, you know it's, like, I mean? it's like us talking about it on the podcast here. We're talking yeah. about it and then we're not going to bring it up next week unless something new comes out that we want to talk about. But like, exactly. I'll talk about it. I'll fucking put it in the title because if people want to hear our opinion of it, but I won't dedicate mm. my entire life to being like, this is what we need to talk about. Because <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I have other things to do. But oh, yeah, no. so everybody's being cancelled. We'll fucking, we'll go on a break. Um, We'll go on a break, All right? So, uh, we have one question here, um, okay. which is, uh, what is one skill you wish you could learn? Oh, fuck, one skill? Jeez. Um, yes. Damn, dude. <laughs> I'm going to need to think about this. Can you go? <laughs> You know, I'm very thinking to myself, this is like, this is probably just not legit, but I said, is being able to learn anything after the first time attempting it a skill? Would that be considered a skill? Because if you're, you like, say for example, I wanted to, say for example, I wanted to learn sign language, which I do, right? Mm -hmm. And somebody showed me the entire alphabet. Now that I've been shown it, I know it straight away. Because I've, I've been shown it once. And I'm able to... Oh, I have that brain process that I am a quick enough learner that I learn after the first time for anything I attempt. Would that be required a skill? Because... 
really? <laughs> I, I I don't know. That would be yeah. It's just no. like if if being a fast learner is a skill, mm. right? Like it, say for example, like you hear like say boxing all the time, where somebody shows them a combo and they go, oh no, they they're a fast learner. They have a lot yeah. of skills. They're a fast learner. After I show them the, them the combination, after a few goes, they have it down. She kind of just like, what if you exaggerate that and you any thing that you ever attempt after be doing it the first time or saying it the first time, you know it. Mm. Is that a skill? See, I guess yeah, that would be considered a skill. I think that would be cool. It sounds more like a superpower, but um, you know, exactly. Exactly. Technically, it's a bit of a skill because it's, it's like it's, that. That's amazing. <laughs> it's it sounds like the guy that uh, had an accident, right? Um, and basically, his head got fucked up. He had like brain damage, but he was able to recall for some weird reason. He was able to recall. Um, say you told him like the fourth of January, nineteen ninety two, or something. He'd yeah. be able to tell you what day it was and whether it was raining outside or not, but he can mm. only tell you that all to every day up until his accident. So from his birth up until his accident, he can only tell you those days. But that's kind of like that's not like a yeah. skill though. That's kind of like like a brain deformity or informally. But it's also kind of a skill because like a having skill. having a great memory is a skill if you can like yeah. it's like my brother Jason my brother Jason like literally he will turn around he randomly turns around and goes uh, did you know this day such and such years ago this happens and I'm like how the fuck do you remember this <laughs> like, he literally randomly yeah. turns around and goes he just does it all the time I said, did you know such and such on this day and such and such this happened and I literally there's times he literally says and it happened at this time and he like gives you the time and shit and the date and the year and I'm like sitting there like mine look how the fuck do you remember this? I have a good memory for the most part. But that's crazy. I barely remember my own birthday, like when it comes to the <laughs> dates. Where he remembers every see if you've told him a date of stuff and he will never forget it. And it's just, it's just like locked in there, it's like glued in there, it's like a fucking it's like he has Google inside of his head and he just knows <laughs> I'm kind of said, like, what? <laughs> I view that See. as a skill, because I'm like, that. that's... I I view it as, that's impressive, so it must be a skill. Because Fair it's enough. impressive. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, so your brother sounds, he's, right, sounds like me in that kind of way, because... But I remember a lot of shit, but that's the point of what I remember, is it's 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 shit. It's, it's, it's unimportant. So it is. So it's like, I would remember shit, dates, days, whatever, but it's like, one, one time my dad tested me on it, and we didn't realise that he was testing me, but uh, they asked um, something about X Factor, it was when when yeah. did James Arthur win the X Factor or something, Yeah. and he just said it, so he did, because we were talking about the X Factor, he says, uh, whenever James Arthur won, and I was like, oh yeah, in 2012, and then he was like, is that whenever he won, and I was like, yeah, he won in 2012. And then that uh, fucking like this was like last year, and I remembered it. And then he actually googled it, and he was like, "Oh shit, he yeah, is right." And, like he won in twenty twelve, and I was like, "Yeah, I remember he won in twenty twelve. <laughs> so, but like it was weird, See, it was weird fuck. But I, I, I'm I remember sure I liked that a wee bit. I remember most part. Yeah, but I can't see you know we're fucking near the. <laughs> One day you will meet my brother, and you will understand mm -hmm. that I don't think anybody has as good of a memory as him. He remembers fucking everything. Like I, I remember like stuff as long as I to. give a shit. Like I don't remember. Mm -hmm. I I literally I had to fill out this thing the other day. Uh, that came in, um, for my household. So I had to fill out the thing, and I literally like it asked for my date of birth, and I genuinely had to think for a second. <laughs> And then it asked for your age, and I genuinely had to think for a second. The only way I actually remember my age, because I just, I hate my birthday, I don't like my birthday, and I don't give a shit. Mm. I only cared about my age until I was 18. Now I'm legal to do any, anything in the UK. So I'm there, mm. I don't care anymore. So literally, it's just like, if I did, if, say if I wasn't born in 2000, like if my age mm. didn't match the year, I would not know what fucking age I am. Because I would just yeah. forget, because I just could not care less. But things I care about, I will remember. It's like literally, like for example, random fact off the top of the fucking head, uh, Katie, right? I remember right. me and Katie were talking about that. Obviously, we've been dating on the 1st of November. 
Right. But I, we started talking early October, and I literally remember that it was quarter to 12. It was actually, I'm pretty sure it was 11.47. Uh, we had the conversation about talking about that. And that's just weird, because that's that's just such a random thing stuck in my head, but I remember it. Mm. And then there's things like, if you literally explain a place that I've been once, I can remember every detail. The only thing I'm terrible with, to be honest, I'm just, I'm, I'm a bit shit with dates, but see, uh, names i'm shit with names but see if you like mm. say if it's like a place or like something else i'm really fucking good at but there's like dates is like split 50 50 because there's some dates that is the tiniest little thing happened and i will remember and then there's things like birthdays for some reason for some reason i just i'm shit with birthdays but any dates of anything else i remember it's probably yeah. just because i hate birthday <laughs> i'm shit with birthdays <laughs> as well though to be fair like yeah it's fucked up like, I can barely remember my sister's birthday, for fuck's sake. And that's, like, close to you. I think that's, like, two days further from yours. It's, like, she's the 24th of March. Um, 22nd, like, yeah. It's yeah. two days after. It's, that's like, literally... I can't fucking remember. <laughs> the only reason I remember Savannah and Sarvax is because they're a day before me. Yeah. I remember Brown, so because he's four days before me. Jeez. So, that's the only reason. Four. But, yeah, what is the skill you would learn? Um, oh god, I don't know, something cool, like, um, how to not be a virgin the rest of your life, no, I'm joking, <laughs> um, ah, fuck, I, yeah, I, do you know, do you know what I'm gonna say, right, I'm gonna choose, be able to learn anything after experiencing it the first or a few times, but if that does, because technically the person who asks the question counts it, um, mm. if that doesn't count, well then I'll say, a skill would be able to learn Japanese. Because sign language is easier than Japanese by what I've seen. And I really want to learn yeah. Japanese. So I'll say That's that. That is my gen like that is like my, my simple answer, but my actual answer is be able to learn be a quick learner in everything. But that's more of a superpower, but it's kind of a skill. So it's whatever one they said. <laughs> um far enough. I would love I would like more skill in, I guess, skill. video creation and voice work. That's what I would love more skills in. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, you know the way the voice actors, like, because I love voice acting. But you know what, like, the voice actors, like, say, or Mark Hamill doing the voice of the Joker, the way he'd be able to lift his voice up and maneuver his voice in such different ways and all that shit. Like, I would love to be able to fucking do that. You know what I mean? So, because I can do a Joker impression, you know, because he voices a Joker, I can sort of do that impression, and then I can sort of do Heath Ledger's impression, because he played the Joker as well, but I can't do it perfectly, but yeah. I would love to be able to do them perfectly, and be able to manipulate my voice to, to be able to do that shit, but I can't, so, I'd love to learn that, so that's a skill. But if you don't count that as a skill, here's another one, I want to be a professional skateboarder, I would love to learn how to skateboard properly. See, so, it's please. like... It's weird because it's like, say, it's like, it's weird because there's so many different forms of skills. There's no way you said that, that yeah. you'd like to do the, you'd like to learn the voice acting and all that. So it's kind of just mm -hmm. like, it's a skill because you knowing that in general is a skill. But you yeah. having the knowledge to know that, learn it quicker is a different skill. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. But it's like, if you learn something quicker, you might not know every detail, but you could learn something every detail, but not know it quick, and they're op they're different skills. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's why I said, my the skill I would love is literally, like, say, for example, I literally want to do anything. Say, for example, like, I just, I fucking, say, say we were back in school. Say I was doing fucking geography, and there was this whole, like, uh, homework we had to do, and I searched up, um, the, like, I researched for it. It would stick in my mm. head. That's what I mean. Like, after I uh, see it or read it for the first time, it sticks in my head and it will stay there. That's a skill I would love to just have, like, a sponge mind where everything just sticks and you can just keep it. Because that would be fucking uh, awesome. Like, just imagine that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, no. Yeah, no, that would be sick, so it Or, um, a, a fucking, uh, a super power that would be cool is just be able to move about memories. That'd be cool, but that's not the fucking question. But uh, yeah, no skills. Move about <laughs> memories? What do you mean, move about memories? So it's like imagine you had a superpower that inside your head, that say for example there was a certain memory you didn't want to remember, you drag it over to the recycle bin, just like you do in your laptop. 
<laughs> or you can drag it over and create a new folder that you put a lock on that you will forget about that memory unless you try to remember it for a important reason. That, that, uh, yeah, that'd be that fucking cool. That would literally be being a fucking computer in your mind. Yeah, see the way that you said about the that you put it in the recycling pin or whatever? That mm -hmm. reminds me, I was literally just watching something about the Joker today, and he mm -hmm. said the sort of exact same thing, where he says that uh, you're, he, he basically explained that you're not brought into this world with, you're not contractually tied down to rationality, so it's like you're born into this world, but you don't sign a contract for the world to say that you need to be rational about anything. There, He says there is no sanity clause where... You, you know, there's no rule that you need to stay mentally sane. So, and then he goes, um, what do you say? You can just close, you can just step outside and close the door on all those bad things that happened and you can lock them away forever. And I'm like, holy shit, you can just like step outside and fuck those memories and just be like, yeah, I'm insane now. I'm like, I'll be sick. Well, yeah, that would be a cool superpower to have, but that's not the question. So <laughs> I'm, I'm going, I'm going to say that that is not an answer because it's not. So yeah, my skill would be to be a fast learner of anything or be able to learn Japanese. Sweet. My, so that's, yeah, that's so my skill. <laughs> so mine would be, as I said, the voice acting yeah. or skateboarding, which yeah. are two different things. But skateboarding seems cool. So I can't skateboard. I just can't do the tricks. Why riding? So you know. I sounded mm. so old whenever I said that. The tricks yep. not riding down with the kids, yo. But yes. But uh, yeah, so uh, we'll end it there after that question. Because I have a lot of stuff to do and you have stuff to do. So we'll end yes. it there. Um, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button if you haven't yet already. Uh, Shay's links will always be linked down below. My links will always be linked down below. Hope you all enjoyed. I've been on the spirit of that's been Shay. Shay, do you have anything to say? No. Have a good one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I've been on the spirit of that's been Shay. I'll see you in the next one. So, uh, peace. Peace.